Hello everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I will be explaining you about special products that are coming from Tyrosin. Without further ado, Tyrosin it is in the neuronal tissue, especially tyrosine is converted into L-DOPA and this is done by tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme which needs tetrahydrobiopterin which is very similar to phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme here. Now the L-DOPA it is converted into dopamine by DOPA decarboxylase enzyme and that particular enzyme it needs pyridoxal phosphate. Now all dopaminergic neurons they express only tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme and DOPA decarboxylase that is why their end product it is here dopamine and dopamine acting as a neurotransmitter in all dopaminergic neurons. Now in sympathetic neurons where the neurotransmitter is norepinephrine so it means all sympathetic neurons they are going to express three enzymes uh, to take care of tyrosine into norepinephrine and that is tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme, DOPA decarboxylase enzyme and also they are going to express dopamine beta hydroxylase or dopamine beta oxidase enzyme. If this dopamine beta oxidase enzyme it needs copper to synthesize norepinephrine sorry dopamine into norepinephrine and also it needs vitamin C here. Now norepinephrine acting as a sympathetic neurotransmitter so all sympathetic neurons they express these three enzymes here. Now further down uh, especially adrenal medulla or some of these uh, neurons in central nervous system they do make epinephrine it means they need to express all four enzymes coming from tyrosine so tyrosine into L-dopa, L-dopa into dopamine, dopamine into norepinephrine and norepinephrine into epinephrine it will be done by an enzyme called phenyl ethanolamine N-methyl transferase and this phenyl ethanolamine N methyl transferase that is, as it is there in the name it is a methylation reaction so it means this reaction needs S adenosyl methionine and that is SAM. So S adenosyl methionine it will be converted into S adenosyl homocysteine during this process norepinephrine is converted into epinephrine it means adrenal medulla and all the neurons present in the central nervous system uh, using epinephrine as a neurotransmitter they may they will be express, express expressing all four enzymes in their cells one of the special fate of tyrosine especially in uh, skin cells uh, and uh, those are the special skin cells called melanocytes so what these cells they will do they are going to take some of the tyrosine into dopa and dopa into dopaquinone and these two reactions catalyzed by tyrosinase enzyme and this tyrosinase enzyme it is similar to tyrosine hydroxylase in the conversion of tyrosine into dopa but this is a totally different tyrosinase enzyme in the melanocyte it needs copper as its cofactor unlike tyrosine into dopa in neurons which needs tetrahydrobiopterin as the coenzyme so in the melanocytes tyrosine is going into dopa and dopa is going into dopaquinone both the reaction catalyzed by tyrosinase enzyme which needs copper once you get dopa so dopaquinone so dopaquinone will undergo multiple reaction in fact it's not a single reaction here so there will be multiple reactions going on and ultimately melanocytes will synthesize eumelanins and pheomelanins eumelanins are the true melanins and that will give a pigmentation to the skin in melano uh, coming from the melanocytes and that is a special product coming from tyrosine here now another special product that will come from tyrosine uh, especially in the thyroid glands is T3 and T4. So tyrosine can go into synthesis of T3 and T4 in thyroid glands.